At almost 300 hectares, Lower Woods is the largest ancient woodland in southwest England and is a site of special scientific interest. Areas of grazed common land, wide grassy pathways known as trenches, separate 23 traditionally coppice woodlands, the boundaries of which have remained unchanged for centuries. For the past two winter seasons, we've been clearing scrub and overhanging trees from a 400 metre stretch of grassland known as a woodland ride in Lower Woods to let the sun shine in. A woodland ride is simply a pathway through, through a woodland, but wider. So like a, like a verge, on, verge on the road, we have the same sort of principle. We've got the track down the middle, and then we have a, gra a graded edge to the, to the ride. So I, we have a path in the middle, flowering plants and grasses, running up to the scrub, and then running into the taller trees. So we have a sort of soft transition into the woodland edge, and that benefits a, a lot more wildlife than having such a, a hard wooden um, border to it. Through doing this, we've created a, a grassy corridor connecting two important wildlife areas, Abraham's Walk and Horton Great Trench, allowing wildlife to easily move through the woodland. Some of the species that have benefited from the projects include white admirals, silverwash fritillary butterfly, and grass snakes. We've also cleared scrub around the Little Avon River, allowing more sunlight to reach the water surface improving the habitat for freshwater invertebrates. Also we've seen more frequently now that we've opened it up. Um, uh, kingfishers and dippers on, on the river there. We're getting frequent otter sightings as well from camera traps. Thanks to funding from Enervert Community Trust, we've been able to purchase hay making machinery, which has allowed us to improve the plant diversity in the grassland. And the trees that have been removed as part of the project have been converted into useful building and fencing materials or sold on to local firewood contractors. So um, thanks to funding from Ennevert Community Trust, we've been able to train um, some of our uh, staff and volunteers in rare plant identification. So we've run courses in the, the area that we've been able to open up to train them on for their, their future career. <laughs>